The fall and holiday season is here, friends, and I'm gonna be showing you the five chicest, most elegant trends that I think you should be trying out. Don't worry, this isn't your normal trend video. We are talking easy and actually wearable trends the classy way for all ages. And because this is a luxury beauty channel, I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite Lux products and also showing you how I get each look so you can figure out how to rock each trend. Let's get into it. What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Real quick before we get into it, I do wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Nordstrom. Thank you so much Nordstrom for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel once again. I know a lot of my subscribers like to shop from Nordstrom for luxury beauty. And I can definitely see why they have a very good selection of luxury beauty classics, many of which I'm gonna be showing in this video, but also a lot of limited edition drops, holiday collections, holiday gift sets. So definitely check them out this holiday season. I do wanna let you guys know that for all Nordy Club members and Nordstrom's card members, they are gonna be offering 5X rewards until the end of the year on beauty, fragrance, and men's grooming. If you've shot from Nordstrom before, if you're a part of the Nordy Club, then you already know it is completely free to join. It is their loyalty program. So as you shop for things, you earn points. And as you earn points, you earn Nordstrom notes, which you can use to buy more stuff, maybe a gift for yourself this holiday season. So if you are a Nordy member, you are going to be earning five points for every dollar that you spend. If you are an influencer, you're going to be earning 10 points. And if you are an ambassador or icon, you will be earning 15 points. It racks up really quickly, guys. So definitely check out that deal that's going on until the end of the year. And without further ado, let's get into this video, guys. I'm going to be linking all the products that I mentioned in the description box down below in case you want to shop. Do know those are affiliate links. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel if you shop through my links. Elegant tread number one, soft grunge. I love this tread. I know a lot of you guys are thinking grunge? Grunge, Sophia? I thought this was supposed to be elegant trends. Can grunging be chic? It absolutely can. And I think this is where my love for luxury eyeshadow formulas really comes in because I think you can take any kind of look that maybe is traditionally a little bit too heavy for our liking or a little bit too smoky, especially for maybe the workplace, you can use a luxury formula and you can just soften it, make it a little bit more elegant, make it maybe a little bit more to your aesthetic, if that makes sense. And the palette that I'm using for this look is none other than Tom Ford Velour's Khaki. I've wanted this palette for so long. I know a lot of you guys are big fans of this palette. And I think that this is like the perfect grunge luxury palette. Thank you Nordstrom, by the way, for gifting this one to me. I love a khaki color story because it gives you kind of like those neutrals that you see in a lot of grunge looks. But because this is the Tom Ford creme formula, there's a really beautiful softness to the look that you get. It's kind of like a slightly creamy formulation. So you get that kind of like suede matte look, more subtle shimmers. It's really good also if you have drier eyelids or more textured eyelids, but you know what? I wasn't satisfied with just this palette. I'm sure you guys have seen in a lot of grunge looks, you see kind of glitter and gloss and kind of like that oil slick type of look. That's a little bit much for my day to day. I'm not wearing that on my Zoom calls, but I do appreciate the aesthetic. For this look, I used one of my favorite toppers. These are the Hourglass Scattered Light Single Shadows, and I am using the shade Smoke. I love these because I feel like these are like the mature way to add glitter. The glitter is very, very finely milled, and it just adds a little bit of shimmer, and especially if you just put it kind of like in the center of the eye, it doesn't highlight any texture. It's just kind of like that little pop of light every time you blink, and I just think it's perfect for this sort of soft grunge, not hard grunge, but soft grunge type of look. Finally, to finish up this look, I went in with one of my favorite eyeliners. These are the Dior Dior Show on stage crayons, and I went in with the shade brown. These are so incredibly long lasting. So even if you sort of smudge them up, you're not gonna end up with like bags or raccoon eyes at the end of the day. I really like the fact that they're so long wearing. I popped on some mascara guys and this is the final look for elegant grunge. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this. Is this something you feel like you would wear that you could recreate? I also wanna give a shout out to two other palettes that I think are perfect for this trend. The first one is actually the one that's on my eyes today. I know you were wondering, this is the Dior Khaki palette. This is one of the newer shades that they launched earlier this year. I really, really like this one specifically for fall. I think it has such a beautiful mixture of shades. I also think this one 
is a little bit more unique. I don't have anything quite like this in my collection. I love the bright sort of puce gold that comes in this palette. I don't know why, but it absolutely works, guys. And you can go a lot of different ways with this. And I do feel like it has that cool, like neutral, grungy type of character to it, but in a really beautiful way because you get kind of like the softness of the Dior shadows. And lastly, I wanted to call attention to a recent favorite. This is the Chanel Le Beige palette in the shade Intense. This is actually the palette I used in my last Nordstrom sponsored video, so I can link that down below. This is so beautiful. It's actually very similar to the Velours Khaki from Tom Ford, but it's a little bit less green and it also is a little bit more sparkly for those of you out there who like just a little bit more shimmer. Elegant trend number two, latte makeup. Hear me out, hear me out guys, because I know we've heard so much about the latte look, the latte makeup, but hey, this is the quiet luxury of makeup trends. I feel like it looks good on everybody. Whenever I do the latte look, you guys always want to know what is on my face. And again, this latte look that I created today. First, I went in with the Tom Ford Soleil Bronzer in the shade Terra. This is like the gold standard for luxury bronzers, in my opinion. And part of it is the color. It's the perfect neutral color for anybody that doesn't want anything too orange, especially if you're going for that latte look. Terra is just the perfect neutral toasty latte shade that I love to go in for so many types of luxury looks, not even just latte makeup. And when you see people do the latte look, it's usually all about that soft, monochromatic sculpt to the face. And no doubt my favorite contour product is none other than the Westman Atelier Face Trace Stick in the shade Biscuit. This gives you that perfect, soft, subtle, kind of chiseled look to the face. It has this really nice neutral to slightly cool tone type of look. So it's gonna be different from your bronzer, which will give you a little bit more warmth. This is gonna add a slight amount of depth to the face and it goes on like butter and it blends out so well. So you never get that kind of like dreaded harsh streak. It's perfect for the latte look, but it's also perfect for every day and also, do you hear that? Do you see that packaging? It's so, so good. I use it literally every day. And then for blush, a recent favorite for me for this type of aesthetic has been the Chanel blush in the shade Jersey. This is actually the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This is like the perfect nude. It's the perfect neutral blush. I think that you could definitely go with something a little bit browner for the latte look. But what I like about this shade is that it's neutral with just a little hint of rose so it really kind of differentiates from the shade of the bronzer when i was planning for this video i was trying to think to myself what is the luxury latte palette and i think i found it friends this is de la creme from tom ford i know a lot of you guys really like this one and i finally picked it up so thank you, Dorsen, for gifting me this product. I have been wearing this nonstop. It is the perfect neutral latte palette. I mean, what else can I say? You've got perfect soft browns in here. And because this is a Tom Ford formula, because it is a luxury formula, it does kind of give you that like beautiful softness that I kind of try to go for for a latte look. Also, the shimmers in here, they are reflective. They definitely give you a little bit of shimmer, but they're also, once again, a little bit softer. So you kind of achieve that beautiful monochromatic nature that we all love from the latte makeup. For the lips, I'm actually gonna show you guys my favorite nude lip combo of all time. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. First, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Liner. This is the best nude liner. <laughs> like I need to get multiples of this because I'm always misplacing this because it's always in my handbag. And then my favorite lipstick to pair it with is also from Charlotte Tilbury. This is called catwalking. It's not as pink as pillow talk. It's more of a true nude. And I like that it's not too light. So it doesn't kind of give me like that concealer lip type of look. It gives me like a beautiful nude richness that I think is perfect for the latte trend. And then for anybody who's going for maybe more of like a glossy lip, I also want to tell you about a recent favorite of mine. This is the Dior Forever Liquid Lacquer in Nude Touch. This is a beautiful warm brown. These lippies are actually new from Dior. They are liquid lipsticks, but they are incredibly hydrating and shiny and rich and luscious and I absolutely love them. I don't know how they last on the lips, but they do. And whenever I wear this shade on my Instagram, you guys are always asking me, what is the lip, Sophia? What is the lip? So that is a favorite as well if you want something that's not matte, but rather shiny. And then finally, friends, I also wanted to show an alternative to the eyeshadow palette. If you want something that's maybe a little bit creamier on the eyes, something that's hydrating, if you have dry eyelids, I really want to call attention to the new Clay de Peau 
eyeshadow quads. These just came out this year. And this is in the shade Starlight Splendor. This one does have a little coral shade. So if you wanna go a little bit more like the beachy route, you love corals, this is perfect for you. What's really interesting and unique about this formula is just how smooth and hydrating it is on the eyelids, it doesn't crease. It's very, very flattering, especially on mature eyelids. So I wanted to call attention to this beautiful color story as well. Elegant trend number three, blood red vampy lips. Don't be afraid of this, friends. There's so many different ways that you can wear this trend. It really just depends on the formulation that makes you the most comfortable. Red is definitely a big color for this fall and winter season. We saw all over the runways and now we're seeing it translated into makeup trends as well. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, because red is my favorite color, but I really like this trend. And the first lippy that I wanna show you guys is actually from that same Dior Forever Lacquer line. And this is in the shade Enigmatic. Oh my goodness, take a look at this shade. It's so beautiful and rich. It does kind of have that like blood red type of look to it. It's a little bit vampy, it's a little bit moody, but it's also incredibly flattering and festive. And it really does last, guys. These liquid lipsticks from Dior, they are such a special formula. You can go through a holiday party and this baby's going to stay on. You can reapply a little bit and they don't get gross. The next lippy I wanna show you guys for maybe somebody who doesn't wanna go so shiny because I know that can be a little bit bold. This is from By Rado. This is the shade Last Call. And this one is a little bit vampier. It's not as red. It's a little bit more on like the purple side of things. If you have not tried the Byredo lipsticks, don't sleep on them. Seriously, they are some of the best lipsticks in my collection. Not only for the formula, because the formula is like very hydrating, very like rich and saturated and pigmented and comfortable, but also can we just look at this packaging? This is my favorite lipstick component ever. I love the two-tone golden silver. It's like a paperweight. It's so luxe. And listen to this, listen to this. Once again, <laughs> so satisfying. The Byredo lipsticks are so good. And that is a really nice festive color if you want to rock this trend. But listen, friends, I get it. Not everybody wants a super saturated, highly pigmented lipstick on their lips. And so that's why I wanted to give you guys a more sheer option. These are the Dior Refillable Shine lipsticks. They come in so many different colors. But the color that I want to show you guys, which I feel like often gets overlooked because people think it's going to be more bold, it's called Dior Bar. This is kind of like, it's almost like a black cherry color, if that makes sense. This is perfect if you just don't have time to put a full saturated, like matte lipstick, shiny lipstick on your lips and you want something that's a little bit more subtle, maybe work appropriate, maybe more on the go. These formulas are perfect. You can find a variety of reds in this formula as well, but this is one of my favorite shades from the line and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it. So this is a really good option if you want something more sheer. Elegant trend number four, cloud skin. I feel like whenever we go from the summertime into fall, winter, all of a sudden we start to see more matte formulations become popular. Sometimes even like more full coverage formulations become more popular. And that soft matte look is what the internet is calling cloud skin. And while I really do like that aesthetic, especially for kind of like the fall and winter time, as opposed to more of like the glowy dewiness in the summertime, I have dry skin. And as I get older, let's just say, my skin ain't getting more moisturized. And so I think one of the big things for me, if I wanna rock this trend, is number one, less is more when it comes to application, but also going for a formulation that is going to kind of give you that soft matte look, but still has a lot of like moisturizing skincare properties. One of my holy grail foundations that I highly recommend, and while it's expensive, I think it's totally worth the money, is the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. This is SPF 25 and it has the most beautiful plush, like soft matte texture to it, but it feels so moisturizing on the face. This is actually what I'm wearing on my skin today. So you can see it's not super glowy, it has that kind of soft matte natural finish, but it does not flake on me. You don't wanna go from matte to a crusty crab, let's just say that. And I actually, you guys might have seen in my video that I filmed with my mom last year, she tried this for the first time in that Get Ready With Me, 
and we ordered it on the spot as soon as we were done filming the video. She absolutely loves this formulation. So I think it's really good on all skin types, on all age types, if you wanna go for that kind of slightly more mattified type of look that lasts all day and keeps you hydrated. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more long wear or maybe a slightly matter texture, a classic of course is the Lancome Tate Idole Ultra Wear. This is kind of my go-to most matte foundation that I own if I'm going to a special event, maybe a wedding, maybe a Christmas party, maybe Thanksgiving with my family. This is gonna last you through meals and laughter and games and fun times. But like I said, I think the trick for me is that less is more. I actually like to shear this out just a little bit and add a bit more moisturization and glow by mixing it together with this Supernatural Radiance Serum from RMS. Kind of obsessed with this. I have it in two shades and I'm using medium aura in the demo today. I mix these together and what it does is exactly what I said. It just kind of shears it out a little bit so that I can apply a very thin layer. It still gives me that beautiful matte texture that kind of lasts all day, but it gives me just a little bit more radiance. I really have been enjoying that combo. And then finally for concealer, guys, this is a rediscovered favorite. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct concealer. I recently picked up a new tube of this. So thank you Nordstrom for gifting me this product. This, it is a matte formulation. Like it's not super serum-y like a lot of other popular concealers that have come out this year, but you really just need a little bit. Again, guys, less is more. It gives you that super perfected look but you really just need a little bit because it is so blurring and brightening. I like to put this on my under eyes, but I do think it works all over the face as well. By the way, guys, I'm gonna list all of the shades that I use for these products in the description box in case you wanna shop. But yeah, this is my recommendation if you're looking for something that's a little bit more matte, a little bit more cloud skin or special event that lasts all day, especially if you're like me and you have dry skin. Last one, last one, friends, elegant trend number five. Metallics, I know, I know, metallics for holiday. Groundbreaking, right? But hear me out, guys. Metallics were all over the fall and winter runways. And once again, it's just translating into the makeup trends. And we've seen a lot of the luxury beauty, big brands, the big houses, they're releasing a lot of metallics for their holiday collections, which has been awesome. And I do think it can be very wearable and kind of easy for pretty much anybody to pull off. But I think the two things that I have to keep in mind when it comes to rocking this trend is number one, I don't want the eyeshadows to highlight any texture on my lids. And then number two, I hate it when metallic eyeshadows crease on my lids. So my first recommendation for you guys, these are a classic. These are the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow sticks. And the shade that I have here is called Mica. It's a really beautiful, shimmery kind of soft metallic. It has a little bit of like a pearly, taupey nature. It's definitely a neutral, definitely something that you could wear to work during the day. You could also pair it up with some other colors of these eyeshadow sticks because they have a really beautiful shade range. It's very hard to choose. And what I really like about these is not only are they quick and pretty much foolproof, but once you get them on the eye, they pretty much last all day. They do not crease at all. Another recommendation I have for you guys that I know a lot of you guys are fond of are the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. That's good if you want kind of more of like a potted formulation. One of my top picks, however, are the RMS Eye Lights. I recently reviewed these for you guys on my channel. The shade that I have here is called Eclipse. It's this really beautiful kind of like soft mossy green which you think would be almost kind of like the grunge trend but this is actually lighter and brighter. It's so so beautiful and once again these don't crease. They last all day and you get a ton of product by the way. It's like a year's supply of eye lights. And then the last metallic shadow that I'm kind of obsessed with is this eyeshadow single that I picked up from the Chanel Fall Winter Collection which is also available at Nordstrom while supplies last. And the shade that I have here is called Acacia. There's something really, really beautiful and sultry about this metallic shadow. It is Chanel, so it's gonna be a little bit softer than the other recommendations that I just gave you. This is kind of a warm, almost reddish purplish type of brown with a coppery 
shift. It's absolutely stunning. I know a lot of you guys liked it when I reviewed that collection. So this is my final recommendation for you guys. And that is all I have for you guys today. Those are my five favorite, most elegant trends to try for this fall and holiday season. I hope that you guys liked all my recommendations and the looks that I created. And now it is your turn, friends. Sound off in the comments down below and let me know what you think of these trends. Do you think they're wearable? Also, which look that I created was your favorite? I would love to hear all of your thoughts. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload new videos and new makeup reviews just like this one every single week. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. <laughs>